welcome back to my channel learn english and today we will be covering up lesson number 1.8 voyaging towards excellence written by achut kodbule and presented by me mrs sheetal jain pille let's begin with the ice breakers there are different ways to travel from one place to another for different purposes discuss with your partner and match the words given in table a with their meanings in table b the first one cruise is a journey on a boat or a ship to a number of places expedition is a journey especially by a group of people for a specific purpose camp a place usually away from urban areas where tents are erected for shelter trip is a short journey to a place with a particular purpose excursion is a brief pleasure outdoor visit picnic is a short visit to an outdoor place where people celebrate enjoy and eat meals voyage is a long journey on a ship question number 2 discuss the following with your partner and complete the web qualities that are required for excellence according to you two are already given to us vision and hard work qualities apart from this that are required for excellence is aim perseverance strategy focus target and goal apart from this if the students can think any of the qualities they can that write that down as well Voyaging towards excellence is written by Achut Godbole who was born in 1950 who is well known for his writing in Marathi and English He is a prolific writer in various genres and has produced numerous original work as well as adaptations of works from other language into Marathi His writing style is informative and yet very informal He became a chemical engineer from IIT Mumbai in 1972 and headed top management positions in company of great repute. His autobiographical sketch penned by Achut Godbole depicts his journey from a middle class schoolboy to a famous writer. He was successful general manager of Patni Computer System. He headed many other reputed companies and later became a famous writer. The present write-up discusses his quest for excellence. how he developed a thirst for knowledge he discusses at length the ingredients essential for success and ways to achieve it this lesson is an autobiography of achut godbole voyaging towards excellence where he talks about his simple upbringing but his rich childhood his love towards art music and literature and how he studied the subjects with tremendous interest let's get started voyaging towards excellence i had a very simple upbringing we were a lower middle class family our 300 square feet house did not even have basic amenities such as a fan a refrigerator a geyser a dining table or a gas stove leave alone an air conditioner or a car it was only when i entered the college that i got a watch and we got a dining table and a gas stove at home so basically students what the author is trying to say was that his upbringing was very simple and they didn't have basic amenities to fulfill their desire however he says that culturally he had a rich childhood because poets like winda mangesh padgaukar and wasan babat used to visit his home for hours and i could listen to the discussion about poetry and literature marathi and english they used to talk about keshav sooth mardekar shakespeare charles dickens and thomas hardy i did not fully understand their discussion in depth but i was immensely impressed we also were lucky to have pandit kumar gandharva pandit bhimsim joshi pandit jasraj visit our place and talk about indian music till late night or sometimes dawn this is how and why i developed my interest in literature and music during my school days i did not and even today don't understand the grammar of music but i began to love it tremendously since then most of the times the topic of discussion at our home were about music 
literature, paintings, sculptures, etc. I could listen to the discussion about Van Gogh, Mozart, and Michelangelo, etc. It was because of such a milieu around me that I had a firm belief, which I still hold, that all arts are equally, if not more important in our lives than science or technology. I had learned from my childhood that money does not mean everything in life. It is necessary, but if at all there is something which enriches our lives and puts meaning to our existence, it is arts, music and literature. So my dear students here, the author Achut Godbule says that money isn't important if we understand the true meaning of our lives. If we put existence, if we put meaning to our lives into art, music and literature, we would understand the true meaning of our lives. So how was his childhood rich? His childhood was rich even though they were poor because he was surrounded with such learned people, such great authors that he felt the need and he felt the love towards art, literature and music. Moving on. This is not to say that I did not like science or mathematics. In fact, I loved these subjects. However, I did not study them only for scoring maximum marks in the examination. So very, very important point students. Achut Godbule loved science and mathematics. However, his goal was different. His goal was not only scoring marks, but something else. He used to study the subjects or any subject for that matter for its inherent beauty, which means for something permanent, which remains with him throughout, not for something temporary. I found Newton's law of motion beautiful and Pythagorean theorem elegant. So what he did was he went into the depth of studying and he thought that Newton's law of motion was beautiful and Pythagorean theorem was elegant, which means it was graceful and stylish. I loved solving problems of physics and mathematics of 9th standard when I was in the 7th, not to show off but just because I used to get involved in solving them. I used to love problem solving and used to enjoy finding out the most elegant method of problem solving. Obviously, these problems were not a part of the curriculum, but I enjoyed the entire process. This attitude of looking beyond marks or examination and to seek joy in solving any challenging problems helped me develop a problem solving attitude which came handy when I appeared for my IIT entrance, that is GEE, because this exam is completely based on your problem solving ability and the ability to think not only logically, but quickly and rapidly. So my dear students, what you all can learn from this is the problem solving attitude, which can help you in your life as well. Take the example of Achut Godbole and see how he used to learn certain subjects what he used to do different that you all are not following what he used to do he used to look beyond marks and examination he used to seek joy in solving and challenging problems and that is what you need to do find the joy first find your purpose first and then start problem solving which will help you in the long run not only in iit or ge but in your life to come moving on i scored 100 percent marks in mathematics in almost all the examinations i appeared for from my first standard until iit barring only a few times so he stood first just because he had that in him to solve every problem that came his way i stood 16th in the ssc board at that time, this examination was for the whole of Maharashtra, including Nagpur, and I stood first in the university in all subjects put together. Those days, you could get an admission into IIT without the entrance test, GE, if you had scored the first rank in the university. Therefore, I did not have to appear for the entrance test to get the admission into IIT, but nobody in Solapur told me about it. For I doubt if anybody in Solapur even knew about this rule. Therefore, 
I appeared for the entrance examination and I scored a very good rank in the same. So what he's trying to say is he was a brilliant student right from the beginning because he had the thirst of exploring and because of that he stood 16th and he stood first in the university in all subjects put together because he stood first he did not have to appear for the entrance test but nobody told him about that or maybe people didn't know about this rule and therefore he had to appear the entrance exam and he entered the entrance exam and also scored a very good rank in the same. I was quite happy getting into IIT but my joy was short lived. At Solapur I had not seen any building which was more than three storied. Mumbai however was full of skyscrapers so he had to move from Solapur to Mumbai because his college was IIT Mumbai. At IIT most of the students and professors used to converse in English whereas my English was very poor. I had my entire education in Marathi. My spoken English was quite pathetic. Not only did I have weak vocabulary but my pronunciation also was terrible and my construction of English sentences very awkward to say the least. Due to all this I was feeling quite lonely and terrified in Mumbai in general and IIT in particular. I had developed an inferiority complex and wanted to run away from IIT and even Mumbai. Inferiority complex means something you feeling very low about yourself not confident as the way he was. So Achyut Godbule was feeling very low just because he did not know how to speak English and Mumbai was were filled with people who knew good English and good vocabulary. One day I was sitting at my mess table in the hostel sipping tea when a senior guy came and sat on the chair adjacent to me. He was a convent educated guy with fairly sophisticated English. Sophisticated here means intelligent, at least spoken or colloquial English. He was a bit arrogant and wanted to pull my leg. He tried to engage in some conversation with me and started pointing out errors in just about every sentence or everything I said. After about five minutes, he walked away after insulting me. I felt extremely humiliated and upset. As it is, I was feeling quite depressed and diffident. Diffident here means lacking confidence. And this incident was the last straw, which means it bro had broken him completely. I was almost broken. I felt out of place there and literally wanted to run away to Solapur that very moment however it was only my self-esteem which stopped me suddenly a feeling of determination and strength came over me and gripped me despite hailing from solapur if i could be a rank holder in the school college and iit with many awards in mathematics there must be something right with me why should i give up and that too for a silly and small thing like english i was not to give up any more I was determined to fight back so my dear students a very very important moral that you can learn from this extract from this autobiography is you can learn anything under the Sun if you have the right intentions and if you have the right support and if you have the right self-esteem by saying self-esteem I mean a good opinion about yourself about your characters about your abilities how much you trust your own self how much you believe in your own self how much you trust your own ability how can you fight the world with your own self with your determination and strength and this is what exactly Achut Godbili did he said why should I give up and you need to ask that question to yourself why should I give up and that too for something that is so small and so silly you can do anything that you think you can so let's not give up anymore and stay determined as Achut Godbule has done moving on as I climb the stairs of my hostel room my plan was ready in my mind. Normally, most of us who are educated in vernacular languages, vernacular means regional or native language, such as Marathi, 
think in Marathi before speaking in English, translate it in English and then somehow try to speak out these translated sentences in an extremely awkward fashion. I had decided that I would do nothing of this sort. I wanted to achieve excellence. This urge to excel in anything that you try to do has been with me since childhood. Again, a very, very important sentence, students, that if you have the urge to excel, you can do it right now. You don't have to wait for a right moment or a right day or a right time. Do it right now. Whether I would succeed in this or not, I was always set at my aims high. In this case too, I wanted to speak excellent, elegant and fluent English. The first thing I did was to start reading English newspaper and English novels. I studied etymology and phonetics and studied the roots of words and how to pronounce them. Etymology means studying the root word and the sound. I used to stand in front of the mirror and practice speaking, realizing my mistakes and correcting them myself all the time and improvising and improving day by day. So what we can learn here is how the insult turned into an opportunity where Achut Goldbule was ready to do anything and everything to learn English. And the first thing he did was he started reading in English at length with anybody. My fear had vanished and I started feeling at home in my hostel. In my future career, out of 32 years in information technology field, I was the chief executive or managing director or head of software company with thousands of software engineers worldwide. During that period, I had to give several presentations or negotiate many contracts with the CEOs, directors or VPs in the US, UK or Australia. I was absolutely at ease at that time. It is only due to the efforts at IIT that I could sign contracts worth millions of dollars worldwide and also run global software companies. At IIT, I got fairly good marks in my second year. However, a very important thing happened while I was in my third year. I came in contact with about 15-20 extremely brilliant students, researchers, professors from IIT that is Indian Institute of Technology, TIR, TIFR, that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, and BARC, that is Baba Atomic Research Center. They included top-ranking students from IIT, visiting pros professors in American American universities and very renowned mathematicians in the world and so on. I was instantaneously attracted to this group. Instantaneously means very quickly. This friendship had a lasting impact on my life. Until that time, I used to consider myself somewhat intelligent. However, after I met my friends in our group, I came to know what real brilliance meant and I realized where I stood. I was actually also very lucky that I came in contact with great people on the globe scale early in my life. Later in my life, when Mr. Narayan Murthy left Putney to start Infosys, I started heading Putney Software's division, occupying the same chair. My head office was Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, very near Boston. It was in fact the adjacent building to MIT in America. I had to visit the US every few months in those days. I used to visit MIT during lunchtime to meet my friends. There, one could see a couple of Nobel laureates at the dining table. If you walked for an hour from there, you could reach Harvard Square near Harvard University. I used to visit both of these universities and could talk to a number of Nobel laureates. During these years, I traveled a lot to US, Europe, Japan and Australia and could meet a number of great thinkers and management gurus such as Alvin Toffer, Peter Drunker, 
सी के प्रहलाद टॉमर टॉम पीटर्स और ग्रेट टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट सच एज विंसन चर्क हु डिजाइन टी सी पी आई पी विच इज द बेसिक प्रोटोकॉल ऑफ इंटरनेट so all these noble laureates pictures are there on the right hand side of the screen students please have a look all these discussions with these great broaden my horizon and my aims and world view became global it taught me humility and made me realize that i had to achieve a lot in life the lesson in humility and hard work as well as passion for excellence was going to play a very important and vital role in my life coming back to my groups in iit my friends were not only more intelligent than me but they were very well read they had interest in all the subjects like science technology sociology psychology economics philosophy anthropology anthropology is a study of humans archaeology political science etc our group was interested in all of these branches apart from all the fine arts such as music literature painting in short our group was interested in almost anything under the sun anything under the sun means everything and anything and which concerned human life and existence i was immediately attracted to the group and developed immense and deep interest in all these branches of knowledge none of these subjects were part of our curriculum at iit but again i never studied for scoring marks in any examination here was a sea of knowledge in front of me which i thought was necessary to pass the examination of life which was far more important than just passing iit examination it is very difficult to become a master or an expert in all these subjects but it was very important for me to understand at least the basic principles of most of these subjects any one of us could easily top gre examination and migrate to the us however that thought never touched our minds to understand the people the world and how it works and serving india and her people was far more important to us the full form of gre is graduate aptitude test engineering therefore i plunged into all these branches of knowledge plunged into means dive into it was a period of renaissance for me renaissance means a period of rebirth or revival of learning we used to discuss about relativity big bang aesthetics literature philosophy economics and many other subjects every day until late into the nights my cupboard was full of books on a variety of topics it is only because of human curiosity that we have been able to make such great progress in science and technology and social sciences i have a number of limitations but one thing i am proud of is the curiosity humility and humanity that is concern for our fellow human beings i learned these values during my iit days i also became a firm believer in rationalism rationalism here means the practice of basic opinions and actions on reasons and knowledge rather than on religious beliefs or emotional responses so he was a firm believer in rationalism and equality of all the castes creeds races genders and religions i started treating nature as god and humanity as religion i passed from iit joined a non violent social movement for tribals in sarovadeya participated a peaceful satyagraha went to jail for 10 days came back to mumbai was jobless for a while worked for 125 rupees a month to supervise workers at night shift in a mechanical shop changed 13 houses in mumbai and then finally settled on information technology as my career so this paragraph is really important students that he joined the non violent and he changed 13 houses because that is a question in your brainstorming which we will be discussing in a minute i spent 32 years in information technology out of which i was the ceo or md or the software head for 23 years 
for large global multinational software companies with thousands of software professionals worldwide and six offices in the US, three in Europe, one in Japan, one in Australia. I had to travel all over the globe around 150 times for businesses. During this period, I also had written four books with 500 to 700 pages each on information technology published by Tata McGraw Hill and then translated into Chinese for global distribution. So while he was working, he also wrote four books, which was of 500 to 700 pages each on information technology. Again, very important, which would be needed for question answers when we go through them. I learned a lot of things when I was running these large companies. The first one was the importance of teamwork. So what are the principles of good management? this teamwork in today's world nothing is impossible without teamwork you cannot be successful if you are a loner and egoistic person so one should not be a loner and egoistic person secondly you need to lead from the front by setting a good example in front of your staff so one should lead a good example is also a principle of good management third was the, was that you need to treat your subordinates and colleagues as friends equality in my career i made a few mistakes but learned a lot about motivation being a good listener is one of the quality target settings and the art of delegation which forms such an important part of today's management so all these things are the principles of good management after working For all these software companies for so many years, I wanted to return to my first love that is to read and write on various subjects concerning human life and existence. Therefore, I gave up two offers of around 3 crore rupees per annum to become a writer. This is how my second innings as a writer began, as a Marathi writer began. Again, very important. How did his second innings as a writer begin? So this is the answer. After this, I had written about 34 books in Marathi. Most of them have become bestsellers with 10,000s of copies sold for each. However, it is not the sales or the money that is important to me as much as the fact that these books have brought about very good changes in the lives of thousands of readers. After reading my autobiography, Musafir, and a book on psychology, Mannan, hundreds have come out of depression and more than a dozen have given up thoughts of committing suicide and decided to start all afresh. There are hundreds who tell me that they understood the theory of relativity or Big Bang. After reading my book on science, Himayagar, my book, Boardroom on management has created at least 20 successful entrepreneurs. Then there are hundreds who tell me that they now can understand Economic Times or NDTV Profit after reading my book on economics, Arthat. Many have turned to mathematics after reading my books on mathematics, Kaniti. The same is very true about my book in Indian music, Naved. English literature, Zapuruza, paintings, canvas, Western films, limelight, and Western music, symphony, or books such as Genius series, Rakta, or Vitamins, or Anartha. In these reactions of thousands of readers, and the feeling that I am touching the hearts of thousands, if not lakhs, of my readers that keep me going. Why am I telling you my story? When I look back, there are a number of lessons and values that I cherish and keep learning about even today. Some of these are the thirst of knowledge. Very important students, what do you need to become successful? Only and only if you have the thirst of knowledge, if you have the curiosity and if you have the humility, which means the respect for each and every one around the globe, Humanity, rationality, equality, teamwork, quest for excellence, never say die, and start thinking big, 
you would reach somewhere in the life. So how did the author touch the lives or, or the hearts of the readers through his books? Many of his books that he has written, for example, he's written a book on economics, which is Arthat, written a book on Western music, which is symphony, written a book on science, which is called as Kimayagar. So all these books, if you get an opportunity to read any one of these books, yes, all the books are written in Marathi. So if you get an opportunity to read any one of his books, please do and please make a difference in all of your lives. Thank you. Let's come to discussions or brainstorming. So question number one, upbringing plays a very important role in shaping one's life. Take help of the following points and have a debate on it in favor and against the topic. So there are four points for in favor of the topic and four points in against the topic. So what you would do is you would do a view, counter view all by yourself because here we cannot do a role play. Okay, so you would do a view, counter view and write the points both in favor of the topic which means you would say that yes up upbringing plays a very important role or you would go against the topic saying no upbringing does not play a very important role because they become role models for others or maybe they are self-confident reliant and dependent so this is a self activity which you need to do coming to question number two go through the text again and describe the second innings of the writer in your own words so this was what i asked you all to underline the writer always wanted to follow his passion of authoring books his earning was to read and write on various subjects concerning human life and existence therefore he gave up two offers of around three crore rupees per annum to become a writer which he always wanted to do this is how his second innings as a writer in marathi began after this, he wrote about 34 books in Marathi. Most of them had become bestsellers with 10,000 copies sold for each. However, it was not the sales or the money that was important to the author as much as the fact that these books have brought about, are, are bringing about very good changes in the lives of thousands of readers. So this is how the second innings of the writer started. And this is how you need to write your answer. Read the text and make a list of great Indian and foreign personalities who had a great impact on Achut Godbole during his childhood. So the answers are all mentioned on the first page of the lesson. So the poets that visited his house were Vinda, Mangesh Padgaukar and Vasant Bapat. The writers were Keshav Sut, Madekar, Shakespeare. Charles Deakin. They didn't visit his house practically, but they were discussed about in their discussion. Musicians were Pandit Kumar Gadharva, Pandit Bhim Sim Joshi and Pandit Jasraj. Dramatists was Alvin Toffer, Peter Drunker, C.K. Prahlad, Tom Peters and Thomas Hardy. Painters were Van Gogh, Mozart and Michael Angelo. So all these were discussed about during his childhood. Question number two, find different techniques used by a writer to learn science and mathematics. One is done for you and maybe students you can practice the same technique. So the writer used to appreciate the inherent beauty of the subjects. He had a cure curiosity so used to solve the math mathematics much ahead of the class he used to solve ninth standard mathematics when he was just in the seventh standard the attitude of looking beyond marks or examination and to seek joy in solving any challenges helped the author to develop a problem solving attitude which was inherent of mathematics and science the author used to study these subjects or any subject for the matter for its inherent beauty he found Newton's law of motion beautiful and Pythagorean theorem elegant. Next, the writer faced numerous problems while communicating in English because his entire education was first of all in Marathi. He used to think in native language and then translate in English, which is wrong. He used to somehow try to speak out of these translated English sentences in an extremely awkward fashion. 
So these are the three reasons why he faced problems while communicating in English. Question number four, the writer was completely stumped because vocabulary was weak, English was quite pathetic, pronunciation was terrible, construction of sentence was very awkward. Question number five, read the text and complete the sentences. Due to the writer's pathetic English speaking style, he felt lonely and terrified in Mumbai in general and IIT in particular. He had developed an inferiority complex. He wanted to run away from IIT and even Mumbai. Complete the following sentences. The writer wanted to achieve mastery in English because he wanted to speak excellent, elegant and fluent English. He will be able to speak confidently. He will not have to hesitate and feel diffident. Question number seven. Make a list of different steps that the writer undertook to improve his English speaking skills. He started reading English newspaper and English novels. He studied the et etymology and phonetics, which means root word and sounds, and studied the roots of the words and how to pronounce them. He used to stand in front of the mirror and practice speaking, realizing his mistakes and correcting them himself all the time and improvising and improving day by day. Make a list of different steps that the writer undertook to improve his English speaking skills was already discussed in the previous slide. Next, read the text again and describe the writer's achievements. After achieving mastery over the English language, his fear for English disappeared. So his achievements was that he his fear for English disappeared. He felt confident and gained more confidence. His fear had vanished and he started feeling like home in Mumbai and his hostel. In future career, he felt at ease while striking a conversation with CEOs and directors. Next, go to the go through the text and complete the table comparing two different phases of life of the writer as a MD or CEO and as an activist of Sarovdaya movement. So how was he as a MD and how was he as a activist? So as a MD, he was the head of the company for 22 years. He traveled all around the globe 150 times for business. He also had, had written four books of 500 to 700 pages each on information technology, also published by Tata Magro Hill and then translated into Chinese for global distribution. Next, as an activist of Sarovdaya movement, he, pass, he participated in peaceful Satyagraha, went to jail for 10 days. He came back to Mumbai and was jobless and he found a job worth 125 rupees a month to supervise workers at night shift in a mechanical workshop, changed 13 houses and then finally settled on a career in IT. Question number three, first one, fill in the blank, selecting the correct phases from the alternatives given. One is done for you. So there are a lot of phrases given here and you need to fill in the blanks by reading the sentence clearly. By the end of the day, by the end of the week, she was beginning to feel at home in her new job. Feel at home means she started getting comfortable. Second one or B. When he lost his mother, he was completely broken, which means he couldn't think of anything else. Traveling can help to broaden one's horizon, which means traveling can give you more experience and broaden your outlook of looking at things. After my retirement, I started my second innings as a social worker. Second innings means starting your second life. Your first life was before your retirement. Your second life would be as a social worker worker having faith in god keeps one going in difficult situation having faith in god gives you that confidence to overpower the difficult situation to succeed in any competitive examination one requires sea of knowledge you need to have that thirst of knowledge or sea of knowledge to succeed in any competitive examination the very village girl sorry the simple village girl dash in a formal party the simple girl feels out of place in a formal party because she's not used to that she's not used to that life so she would be feeling out of place the work 
done by Sindhu Thai Sapkal dash of millions touch the heart of millions the teacher spoke at length explaining the concept the speaker was dash by the intelligent questions asked by the audience completely stumped he was shocked how could they are uh, the audience ask me such questions which are beyond my intelligence so this is what it means and this is what uh, correct phrases from the alternatives are done for you read the text again and find out all the words related to the game of cricket list two meanings of each one is done for you so second innings is related to the game and the meaning in general is the second phase of life of an individual where he or she starts to pursue a new life or a different career or the post retirement life when it comes to cricket when a team comes to bat for the second time in a match that is called as second innings uh, next word is stumped in general means life could be too hard or it could be too baffled whereas in cricket it means dismissal a batsman by a wicket keeper by dislodging the bales with the ball while the batsman is out of the crease but not running googly in general means unfocused or rolling in cricket means spin of a ball off to leg unlike a normal leg break delivery the nervous 90s in general it means general nervousness caused due to anxiety while aiming something higher in cricket it means the term refers to a specific form of analysis paralysis felt by a batsman when he has scored more than 90 runs in an inning and is nervous because of the pressure and the desire to convert this into a century of 100 runs which is considered to be a milestone of success in the game next question number 3 go through the text to find out the antonyms which means the opposite words given in the grid and fill in the boxes first one the opposite of unlucky is lucky so it's done here next the opposite of solution is a problem so you will write problem in the box 2 the prob uh, the opposite of trust is doubt you would write doubt here the opposite of confident is dividend diffident you would write it here the opposite of advanced is basic you would write it here and the uh, the opposite of blockhead is genius you would write it in the sixth block thank you so question number 4 students is the uh, primary auxiliary verbs be have and do which occur most commonly and can be used as the main verb in a clause now go back to my video on tenses and there i have explained what is state of being verbs and what is action verbs and how the helping verbs or the primary auxiliary verbs can be as a main verb in a clause so here you would understand this only when you hear my video on tenses go to the sentence given below and say whether the verbs are main verbs or primary auxiliary verbs i had a very simple upbringing so had here in the sentence is a main verb because there is no action word in this sentence i was immensely impressed was again is a main verb because here there is no action word but there is a state of being your present emotion i had learned from my childhood that money did not mean everything in life had because had is an auxiliary why because learnt is an action word okay he was a convent educated guy was is a main verb i did all the work in time did is main verb i had to achieve a lot in life had is main verb why because achieve is not an action verb but it is a state of being verb so models we have already discussed if not i'm going to post the video soon please go through my videos which i have sent through email on model auxiliaries and then you would understand this better does sam write all his own reports the secretaries haven't written all the letters yet terry is writing an email to a client at the moment the verbs in bold are broadly used to express 
tenses do can also be used for adding emphasis as in i do know the answer the verbs be have and do are called as primal primary auxiliaries when helping verbs are used to express mode or action they are called as models for example you shall have a holiday tomorrow so this is a simple future sentence we should obey our elders which means obligation i i can play the piano which means ability you could open the window please is a request in the above examples the model indicate the expression given in brackets there are other models that are used for expression study the given table carefully and do the activities that follow models le less definite to more definite can could is ability should is advice or obligation shall is determination will is determination or futurity would is past habitual action or request may might is permission possibility must have is compulsion used to is habitual past or to is obligation need to is necessity dare to is courage so fill in the blanks with appropriate models according to the situation given in the following sentence take an umbrella it may rain later so there is a possibility of rain that is why we are using may as a possibility people should walk on grass which means it is a advice or an obligation dash i ask you a question may i ask you a question which denotes permission the signal has turned red you must wait so this is a obligation which you need to follow i was a sports person in my school days i dash play badminton i can play badminton it denotes your ability i am going to the library i dash my friend there so the answer is i will find my friend there i will find means it is the futurity of expression do as directed and rewrite the sentences i did not fully understand their discussion but i was immensely impressed so here you need to remove but and divide the sentences into two though i fully didn't understand the discussion comma i was impressed i had decided that i would do nothing of this sort remove that i had decided not to do anything of this sort my fear had vanished and i started feeling at home in my hostel use when i started feeling at home in my hostel when my fear had vanished or you can write the sentences as when my fear had vanished i started feeling at home in my hostel both are correct it was only my self esteem which stopped me remove which my self esteem stopped me next i plunged into all these branches of knowledge it was a period of renaissance join with which i plunged into all these subjects of knowledge which was a period of renaissance when i look back comma there are number of lessons that i cherish remove when as i look back there are number of lessons that i cherish could be one answer or looking back there are number of lessons that i cherish could be the second answer there are hundreds who tell me they understood the theory of relativity remove who there are hundreds telling me that they have understood the theory of relativity question number 5 is important as a writing skill or a creative writing wherein we would be writing about a flyer what is a flyer a flyer is nothing but a small piece of paper or a pamphlet intended for wide distribution at public places handed out to individuals or sent through mail or post it is used for advertising and sorry advertising an event program drive or product so this is how a flyer is done which means uh, this is a admission that the school is seeking for admission and this is how they have made a flyer which has arts as a stream science commerce commerce college of new delhi so this is the name of the college and their mission statement changing lives through quality education this is how they have made their flyer which means they have their details in a separate column features how uh, are they different from other colleges they have big spacious and smart rooms highly experienced staff advanced courses and programs and why to do we or the students choose them because 
uh, our students shine in all walks of life teachers are passionate and dedicated beautiful campus ambience record breaking results our name itself is a sign of trust so for more detail or inquiry you can contact the principal website timing is so and so so go through the sample of the flyer given above and prepare flyers on the following topics using details special features why to choose us need of drive purpose of the mission anything special add your own point so this is an activity a self activity that you need to do with the help of the internet and the topics here you can use you can choose any two any two topics which can come in as a part of your exam so any two topics and you need to use all these special features here and any two topics and make a flyer which is also called as a pamphlet this is your assignment complete, complete the web highlighting the various opportunities you gain due to your good speaking skills english speaking skills so what opportunities you felt you have gained because of your good english you would write this in your the boxes describe a situation or incident when you felt embarrassed for your lack of knowledge of a particular subject or incompetence in speaking english fluently so this again is a personal response question where you would be giving a situation or incident where you felt embarrassed because of uh, lack of knowledge or anything in particular so that is all for now students thank you for being so patient and watching all my videos up to now please do subscribe to my channel click the bell icon for uh, staying updated and all the best for your exam thank you